How's it going guys? This is Anthony for the Level With You Show, and today I'm going to be doing another unboxing video. I uh, had a lot of fun with the Yu-Gi-Oh! one last time, so now today we're going to be trying something different. We're going to be doing the Dragon Ball Super Card Game, uh, opening a couple starter decks. This one's Shenron's Advent. Uh, and I got another one coming up as well. I actually lost the audio <laughs> for this episode, so I'm going to be dubbing over it. So I do apologize if there is a slight delay, but that is the reason why. So yeah, we got the box right here. It's really nice. I like the presentation to it. Um, you can see in a sec right here when you turn it to the side that it has a cool little graphic on the side, which reminds me of the old VHSs they used to have for Dragon Ball Z. So it was pretty cool. And this is the second starter deck we'll be opening today as well, Resurrected Fusion. Again, the box is awesome. It's got the cool little decals on the side. Sadly, it is just a waste of packaging because you have to open it up, throw it away when you're done, but it gets the job done. It definitely helps sell me on, on buying it. I haven't played the game at all, but I've had a lot of fun looking at the cards and opening these. So, we're going to get right into it. As soon as I crack this box open, it was nice and clean. You know, kind of standard uh, plastic with your little game mats inside. I'm going to be showing these off. You get your game board that it comes with, so it's like the play mat. So anybody who's just starting out, it comes with a nice little explanation of how to play the game and what the areas in the game are for. Uh, all your keywords on the back, super handy. Um, I've yet to play the game, I really would love to give it a try, but I haven't actually tried it yet. I'm glad that they include something like this just to show you where the cards go, a little explanations of the areas. It's great, it's good stuff. Jump into parks and You know. <laughs> All right, now that that ordeal's out of the way, I'm gonna focus in here. We have our leader card that comes with the first deck. This is the back, which I thought was cool, and it shows you the back first, but you play the card uh, on the flip side. The non-hollow side is what it starts off with. Focus. Here we go. I'm not going to be going over too many of these uh, details because one, I wasn't not sure of it, and I'd really like to go into more detail after uh, I'm able to explain it more and know a little bit more about it, just so I'm not kind of spouting crap out of my butt. Um, but right here we also have a nice little extra holo card that the deck comes with, Shenron Figure of Majesty. And he's got some effects there. He can't attack either, but uh, he's definitely got some good support effects to help your units out in battle. And this is a battle unit dimensional warrior, Son Goku. He's got double strike barrier and he's got a sparking of 7 in the description. His power is 20,000. And you've got Vegeta Return from Darkness. I really like all of the uh, art on these cards because it reminds me of the Super Dragon Ball Heroes game that just recently released in uh, North America, but Japan has had it in arcades for a couple of years now, I think more than a couple of years, and I really want to go over, if I ever visit Japan, I'm definitely going to stop by those arcade machines and take a look and check those out, because I'd love to just buy a pack of Super Dragon Ball Heroes cards and be able to play them, <laughs> though I sadly don't know how to speak Japanese. And this is another battle card, Son Goku, we've got Yamcha. Just a basic card, no effects really. He's red. I know that's two energy to play, and then like two of red color energy. Uh, it's Poir, best pal. Uh, scheming Oolong. He's a, another battle card as well. And I know that, yeah, you use for your resources pretty much your energy, or the number at the top left is uh, you use your cards from the deck to help you play it. So it's kind of like Duel Masters or any kind of self fulfilling uh, card game that you know where you use your own resources in it. We got Oolong's Wish here. Got permanent effect, the leader gains desire in all areas, which again, uh, I have to look up the uh, explanation to because I didn't do that. And I'm not too familiar with it, but I did like seeing uh, the, the cards here. And this is Dragon Ball Seeker Bulma. She's another battle card. Definitely uh, top waifu material. We've got Kami, Global Unifier. He's got 3,000 power. He's another battle card. Temporal Rescue Trunks. He's got some good effects there, 10,000 power, and he's also got 10,000 guards, so you can use those. I know you can use the, you can play cards from your hand to help guard attacks against you. If you don't have enough uh, power with your characters on the field, you can buff them up using cards from your hands to help guard, though they do go to the discard pile after that. I get the dang thing to focus. All right. Super combo. Let me include up to four cards with super combo from your deck. Now we got a black card. I know they're all like colorized too as well, kind of like, you know, along the same lines of Magic the Gathering, the mana system, different colors. Uh, I know this one's, this card has a black. I'm not really sure what uh, a lot of the black color cards themes are just yet, but uh, there are a bunch in this deck, which is really cool. I did open a couple booster boxes prior 
uh, to opening up the starter deck, and it was cool to see the different colors and different uh, like cards, effects. This is an extra card, so this isn't uh, like a battle card. It's more like an effect card or kind of akin to like a magic or trap card in Yu-Gi-Oh. Cards do some cool stuff. It help you buff up your units. It help you, um, you know, either draw a card, all that good stuff. And here we've got the extra card, the Dragon Ball. You can only have up to seven cards called Dragon Ball in your deck, which uh, ironically fits the theme because of the seven Dragon Ball. This is great. It's good stuff. And then we have World Peace here, which is another extra black card. It's a permanent and helps gain desire. Again, another theme for the deck. Uh, four energy, but I think that's pretty much the equivalent of colorless energy, so just four of any energy you can play. It doesn't require a certain color of energy. Uh, to help you play that card as well. And just another look at the leader card here. I love the the foiling effects. It looks so badass on this card. And the weight, like it's texturized too, so if you like put your finger on it, you can kind of feel the little bumps and stuff that are coming up from the card. And I really love just the, the beveling effects and the little shattered, uh, shattered glass kind of hollow effect that they do on these cards. A, a lot of different really cool variants with these hollows. And the leaders are all really, really nice. The art is super unique. I'm a big fan of that. I hate the card games that are based off anime or anything that use just screenshots from the TV. Um, I know the Payblade trading card game was a lot like that way back when I actually had that um, card game growing up. I had a couple of the starter sets and I remember opening the booster packs and going through the cards and looking at them and they were a big disappointment because it was just screenshots from the show on the cards and it wasn't really that well put together and it is a dead trading card game obviously now but it was a cool concept. I wish they would bring something like that back but you know. And we got our leader there, uh, Knockout Strike Gogeta. He's got another nice Shatter Foiling on him as well. And that is the back of the leader card. And here's the second holo card that's included with the deck, just like the Shedron one from before. Ultimate Fusion Gogeta, if I can focus on him. Uh, this is Fusion Reborn Vegeta right here. He's got uh, his auto effect is base 20,000 power. Uh, it takes three of any energy, plus two blue energy to play. He's a battle card, so he's a character card. You've got Fusion Reborn Son Goku there. You know, another battle card. Takes three energy, two blue energy as well. Has that base power of 20,000, and it is really cool when you put both of them side by side. They are doing the fusion dance, or what's going to be the fusion dance from the series, as you know, from Dragon Ball Z buffs. That's how they made Gogeta. And then we've got another version of Ultimate Fusion Gogeta here. He, this one's just the non hollow version, so it's cool they give you two of these. He's a really powerful card. He's five uh, any color NG and then two blue. You got Great Saiyan Man here, being a hero. He's got 30,000 base power, takes three of any energy and two blue energy. This is Ready Stance Son Goku. He's got a base 5,000 power. He's a blocker. I know that helps you block uh, attacks basically from your opponent to help you know save your life and your leader's life. Um, two of any color, two blue, along with this Super Saiyan Son Goku. And this is Great Saiyan Man Town Hero. He's got 15,000 base power, two colorless, and then two blue energy. Key Barrage Sun Goten, 10,000 power. Um, he's one colorless energy, one blue. You can get small units to play at the beginning of the game. It's going to help buff your side up, get some forces out. And yeah, there's the Super Saiyan Vegeta, so he's kind of doing the cool little Lair Strong pose with the mirrored angle from Goku. He's got two colorless energy, two blue. There's Key Barrage Trunks. He's got two colorless energy, two or one blue. Base 10,000 power. And Vexing Outcome Veku. He is awesome. I love the fusion. I love the concept of fusion in the Dragon Ball universe and series. I love that when you mess it up, you become really fat. And if you mess it up again, or if you just mess it up, you can go really fat or really skinny. But to get it just right, you have to do it a certain way. Um, see, he's got the Union Fusion effect as well where you put the certain cards there, Son Goku in this case, and Vegeta, place one of each of the specified cards with the same power in your um, from your hand to the drop area, and then you can play this card. That's pretty cool. He's got a base 10,000 power. He's two colorless, one blue. We've got Quick Thinking Gotenks. He's three colorless, two blue. Here you got the big man upstairs, King Yemma, Soul Supervisor. He's got two colorless energy to play, and then one blue, base 10,000 power. Uh, Dimension Magic, an extra card here, so that's your action, or, you know, your little extra card to play to help you out, to help you win the game, obviously. And this is Soul Punisher, another extra card, and uh, Gogeta's signature move, how he ended the Fusion Reborn movie. 
So that's pretty cool. You can get your opponent to mill their hand. Wipe them down. And just taking another look at the shiny cards, the Shatterfoil Gogeta. Second one they came with is the leader card. Another nice Shatterfoil. Super, super cool. Super clean looking. They did, I really, really, I can't express enough how much I love the graphics on this card. Yep, so that's it. Thank you guys for watching. That was the Dragon Ball Super card game, the Trial Deck or Starter Decks 06 and 07. I want to play. Maybe I'll infect the other guys and I'll be able to get them to start buying stuff. Or I'll just buy enough cards for everybody and then everybody can play. And that way everybody wins except my bank account. All right. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a good night.